you were absent on Friday, make sure that you uh, catch that first section on there. Um, the main thing we're going to talk about today is acute angles. Okay, so acute. Anybody know or remember from geometry acute angles? Acute angles are under 90 degrees. Right, so they're between 0 and 90 degrees. Why is this important in Algebra 2? Because it's more than something. Because it puts it in a, in a certain quadrant. Which quadrant is that going to be? First quadrant. Okay? So there any acute angle should end up in quadrant one. If it doesn't, it's going to make it a little more complicated. Okay, so if you, we start putting uh, angles here in quadrant one, um, sometimes you're just going to be given a point, like point P, and they'll tell you um, where it's at. And if they say it's acute, it should end up in quadrant one, all right? And it's going to form a triangle, okay? So like I told, told you before, the, your, your angles can be given different names. So we're going to call this one theta, okay? Right here. We'll call this um, the origin, right? <coughs> you guys have heard that before. Uh, we're, we're starting at zero degrees right here. So if we come up here from theta, this is going to be our opposite side. This is going to be our adjacent side, which makes this side over here the hypotenuse. And so you'll remember from geometry, you were asked to get three trigonometric ratios, right? Yes. Sine. Full spelling is S-I-N-E, but when you see it on your calculator, it's just going to look like sin. Don't pronounce it sin, it's sine, okay? The sine of theta, in this case, is going to be what, what to what? What is it? Opposite, Opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. OH, like if you learned it as Sokotoa. Anybody learn it as Sokotoa? Okay. So this is Sokotoa. We're going to call this, bless you, if this point P is at the point some number X comma some number Y, right? That means this point, you're going to go over X amount, and then you're going to go up Y amount, all right? This hypotenuse, we're going to call R, because sometimes uh, if you were drawing a circle, it would be like the radius of the circle if you took this point and went around, okay? So for the sine of theta, we're going to do opposite, which is Y over the hypotenuse, we'll call R. Okay. The next one is cosine. And if you look on your calculator, it just looks like cos. We don't say cos, we say the whole word cosine of theta is going to be what to what? Sokotoa. It's going to be adjacent over hypotenuse, which is going to be X over R. Okay. Third one is tangent. So the tangent of theta <coughs> opposite over adjacent. So it's going to be y over x. And that's if you're using Sokotoa. You guys remember all that? Okay. <coughs> so in Algebra 2, we're going to learn 
the reciprocal functions. Reciprocal functions. And what does the word reciprocal mean? Not opposite. So opposite would be like if you had x, the opposite would be negative x. Means you're going to take a fraction and you're going to do what with it? Flip. You're going to flip it. Okay. You're going to flip it. So the, the if you um, want to find the reciprocal of the sine, you're going to get something called the cosecant. And so on this, this drawing right here, the cosecant, instead of being y over r, it's going to be what? r over y. So we're going to say the cosecant of theta is going to be, is going to be r over y. And then the reciprocal function of cosine is going to be the secant. And so the secant of theta, we're going to take the cosine, which is x over r, flip it, and we'll have r over x. And then the third one, the reciprocal function of tangent, is going to be the cotangent. So the cotangent of theta, if the tangent is y over x, we're going to flip it, and it's going to be x over y. Okay. You also can write them in, in abbreviate. You know how you can write sine, cosine, and tangent in abbreviated form? Like, like you can see it on your calculator. Okay, so cosecant looks like this. Uh, cosecant, C-S-C, -C, cosecant of theta is when you have the reciprocal of sine of theta. Then we're going to look at the secant of theta is 1 over the cosine. 1 over the cosine or reciprocal? Yes. And then the cotangent is COT, cotangent theta. Oh, one over and then one. They're all reciprocal, so just 1 over. One over. So that's just basically the same as flipping. Flipping? Reciprocal? Mm -hmm. I'm going to move that up. You'll see it in just a second. All right. So what are you going to see on the first part of the assignment today? So example number one, you're going to be given a triangle. And you're going to be asked to find the different trigono trigonometric uh, functions, okay? So depending on how your triangle is drawn and the way it's labeled is uh, how you're going to answer. So we'll say that uh, we'll call this angle A, this one B, this one C. Let's throw in some measurements here. We'll give... Uh, 30 and a 60, so this is 30, 60, 90 triangle, which makes this, right, this one will be a Pythagorean triple, yes, okay, so you're going to be asked to find the trig ratios or functions, sometimes they call them trig ratios, sometimes they call them trig functions, That basically means you're going to write it as a fraction. So if for some reason you had, um, none of these are going to be able to reduce, but if you had numbers that could reduce, you can reduce. Um, but in this one, obviously you're not. Okay. So the first one we're going to find is the sine of A. So A is important, right? Because if you're looking at um, acute angles, You've got two acute angles. 30 is acute and 60 is acute. 
So if it just said sign, you wouldn't have enough information. Okay? You, it needs to t you need to pay attention specifically to which one they're talking about. So in this case, angle A. So from angle A, you want the sign. Sign ratio is? It is going to be, but first let's say which. Opposite over hypotenuse. Thank you. Opposite over hypotenuse. So we want the opposite over the hypotenuse, which in this case from A, the opposite is 3, and the hypotenuse is 5. Sometimes it's helpful to people to write opposite and adjacent, but in this case, we're going to be jumping between angle A and angle B, so the opposite is going to change, right? So if you're asked to find the cosine of B, now instead of going from this angle, we're going to go from angle B, right? So cosine ratio is what's what? adjacent, so that means right next to it, but not the hypotenuse. So this one is also going to be 3 to 5. Okay. Because we switched angles is the reason they're the same answer. If we just said sine of B, it would have been 4 to 5. Okay. Let's try a cotangent of A. Cotangent is reciprocal of tangent, and tangent ratio is what to what? Opposite over adjacent, right? So we're going to, let's just get that and then flip it. So from angle A, the opposite is 3, and the adjacent is 4. So that would be 3 to 4, but we need to reciprocal it. So we're going to go 4 to 3. Let's try cotangent. Oh. oh, I wrote that one first. Cotangent of B. So we're going to switch from this angle back over to B. Cot uh, tangent, we said, is opposite over adjacent. So that would be 4 to 3, but we want the reciprocal. So we're going to flip it and get 3 to 4. Next one, let's try secant of A. Secant is the reciprocal of what? Cosine. Cosine, okay? And we're starting at angle A. So from angle A, the cosine would be adjacent over a hypotenuse. So adjacent over a hypotenuse would be 4 to 5, but the, we want the reciprocal of it, so we're going to flip it and get 5 to 4. So they're not hard, you just have to think about it. It's like it takes a minute to go, oh, okay, it's that, and that, and then we have to flip it, okay? All right, let's try one more and then move on. All right, so let's do tangent of angle B. So starting from B, tangent is opposite over adjacent, so it's 4 to 3. You guys seen enough of those? All right, another way you're going to see it on the assignment is example number two. You're going to say something like, find the six trig functions of the acute angle. And they're going to give you a point for 5. They're going to say that P is at 4, 5. So you're going to draw your X and Y axis. <coughs> and then you're going to graph this point. So you go over 1, 2, 3, 4. That means this side is going to be four units, and then you're going to go up five. One, two, three, four, five. So roughly about there. And that's going to create a triangle. Okay? A triangle 
that we've got 